I don't know if you guys see he's up there. Is that a ghost or is that a human? Let's go help him. So it's just weird knowing that just this guy that was living right around here was just hunting people. Oh, I hear people down there. Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video, and we are back in Missouri. And this video is kind of—we're going to kind of review a little case that I went over last time I was down here, aka the cannibals that I was really weird, and they were right up the street from me. I'm right up the street from the horse track, but right now I'm reporting live from Windyville, aka Moon Valley. As you guys can see, I'm down here in the the Boondocks. Is that a bad word? I made my appearance again. I also have a cold, but um, some weird things, weird updates so far is uh, I got a bunch of people reaching out to me trying to get an interview with the quesadilla about what I know and of course I deny all those because I don't want to get involved if anything it's gonna be on my channel right <laughs> channel Steve Castaneda but kind of the update is recently um, the house actually burned down right after all this happened so everything went away house burns down so all the evidence that I guess they were done researching but it was just a weird coincidence that the house that the woman was in that the 13 bodies were found all burned down so like that right there kind of strange to me um, I know this isn't a right like, I know this isn't a regular Stephen Casey video where I'm playing golf. As you guys know, I've taken golf really serious. That's why my golf game's so good. But these type of videos, for some reason, I just enjoy. It's so much different. I don't always do. I don't always get the chance to go and just vlog my day. We're also gonna go take a look at the hat. We're also gonna go take a look at the horse track. But today, Stephen News reporter, we're gonna go take a look at the burning house. We're really like quarter mile from it, and probably like two miles from the horse track. But we're gonna go take a look. It's just a weird coincidence it burned down. Kinda, if anybody doesn't know, in August, a woman went missing. The FBI started researching, ended up that the woman was taken in, in this house, and they found her, he was a cannibal. They arrested two people. One, they kinda was a semi-truck driver, so he would go on the semi-trucks, pick up these women, and bring them to here, and then this man would, I guess, eat them. There's some weird, there's some very strange stories that he fed ribs to the neighbors, uh, human ribs, it wasn't just regular ribs. So stuff like that's been going on and I'm glad he's locked up, he's gone. Really, no news has touched it. I mean, it's something this big, a cannibal and 13 bodies being found on his property. Nothing, no new. I, I feel like that should be on the news more than half the BS that's on there right now, but it, there's no light to it, so I'm just gonna talk about it. it. It was bad. They also, there's some, and I don't like getting into conspiracies, but it's weird. The, the woman that went missing recently 18 years ago her mom uh, was also went missing and it's a weird connection that they that the man that had took her daughter also took the mom like there's some just weird coincidences weird just weird things anywhere it's also Wendyville is like one of the most haunted towns in I think it's like top five in the United States which is also very strange I'll tell you a little story so just after I did my filming I me and my parents drove down here and drove by the house just to take a look there was a man outside and we of course actually I was driving I drove by once and I was like hey let's go take a look which is weird I, you shouldn't drive by people's house even though the guy was gone and no one lived there there's just a man outside and he started yelling at me and telling me get off the property no pictures and all this BS and then the next day the house burns down that was weird but um, that's just kind of update we're gonna go take a look at peek at the house I honestly I wish I could walk around in it but it is private property and I like to I like to walk around I like to being alive so down here in Missouri you don't mess around anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is I know it's so different leave a comment what you like I'm getting in back in my regular posting schedule I have an update from the horse track a bunch of stuff's coming out here recently because I've been doing a lot for good good and I just have not had time to actually post on my, I haven't even taken my channel serious for a little bit because I've been putting all my effort into good good and it's paid off so yeah let's get this unbug let's go take a look at this house wait 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 h-i-l-l-b-i-l-l-y -L 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 what is this it, what is this hillbilly 13 is it is this some type of hillbilly gang <laughs> yo 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 <laughs> wait 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 m okay wait m a B A thirteen. Is this some is this some hillbilly gang I don't know about? Are you guys coming after me or something? Alright, that's cool. That's awesome. I love I love that. I don't even know what that is. That's kinda of funny, but there's a table up here. I'm gonna go take a look at it. Whoa! I don't understand why there would be a cement chair in the middle of like look around. There's not someone really had to bring this down here from a truck. Ah, and it's heavy as mother. I bet this is like a thousand pounds. Actually, let me look at it. Oh my Anyways, here's the place. As you can see, it literally got burned down. All it is is a pile of bricks. Right here's where the guy was sitting last time, and uh, he he told us to get away. I, I don't know if that's the case. There was a case that the woman was in. Yeah, if you take this red line straight 
back over there, like straight that way, you'll run into the horse track in like a mile. So it's just weird. And this whole property, there was a lot of bodies found. So this is a strange, this is a strange thing, but it burned down, which was the weirdest occurrence ever. Right after every, all this happened, someone lit it on fire. I'm, I'm sure it was to, like, so no one, so people like me wouldn't come and look, even though this actually has something to do with me because the Myrtle River incident, someone rolled that clip. I don't know if you guys see it up there. Is that a ghost or is that a human? Let's go help him. Mm. Anyways, that just gives me the heebie-jeebie. It gives me some horror film vibes. That's the craziest thing. This man's been doing it for years and he just could get away with it. I don't know how you get away with that. And I, I guess he was in the doing stuff with the black market. Just I, I don't know how someone who lives on a tiny road in the middle of Missouri is able to do this for years and just get away. I mean, I guess if, I don't know, it's just strange. It's very strange how the police or someone didn't find him. I'm glad he's caught now, he's in jail. I haven't heard anything about the trial. I'm gonna do a little more research, but this is the first time I've been back down here in a little bit. I'll, I'll do an update on the horse track, but a lot of stuff's been popping up. We're gonna go take a look at it right now. All right, here's kind of what we're doing down at the horse track while I'm down here. And you guys can see, uh, we're digging a, a water line all the way down to the tee boxes so I can water and it's gonna be able to go down to the end of the hill. We're just making a tee off, so whatever I decide to build on or where I decide to build onto, we have water to it. This is kind of a big deal that we got, them, we got the guys down here. So it shouldn't take too long. The water was one, as you guys know, when building the course was a big problem for us. And we just decided to go off down here, which makes it 100 times easier on me. I don't have to do a lot. Also, we might not need a pond, which will be really, really good. But as long as we can get water from up there down to here, it's perfect. Oh, 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 That was a ditch. Man, it looks a lot different in the fall. Everything's more clear. We'll finish it up at the house. The river went way down. If you were to fly drone straight over that way, just over that ridge is where uh, Mr. Cannibal lived. I can't believe that it, it like it touched the news once and then it never hit anything else. For something that big, like a serial killer like that, I feel like it should be, should be talked about. I guess it's Missouri, people don't care. Here's here's Mr. Molly. Harry. I don't know, it's just smart. I'm also thinking about getting a little, a little mini horse to run around in there. The only problem is she like, she's good on her own. And if you put another animal in there, I don't want any fights breaking out. And I don't know, because I've never had a goat before. It's not like a, a horse will run cows into the ground, but I don't know if a mini horse will hurt a goat. Or maybe they'll be friends, I don't know. Also, my swing, since I've been gone, it's gotten so much better. So we're gonna, we're gonna hit the barn. Actually, we're just gonna go over the barn. We're gonna call it good. Yeah. Ah, right over the barn, nice. I'll hit a little stinger to end this out. Come on, turn. Ah, right next to it. Anyways, that's gonna probably wrap up today's video. The cannibal man, his house burnt down, a bunch of weird things. As you can see, I'm digging pipelines for the horse track. Full update will be on it. The thing about winter time is it freaking sucks. Like, I, I don't wanna work down here in the winter time because it's just you have no daylight cold and I'm making excuses but it's just it's just difficult it's easier and this going into spring when it starts getting warm I can just do whatever I want now it's just like I have like two hours to get everything done and shut up the Yorkie we'll catch you in the next one peace